right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in to the Streets of Rage Quit. Lee Casey, Jesse Bloomhagen here, back with another exciting episode of Mario 64. We're about to dive into Bowser's domain somehow because we got 30 stars and we got that hidden message from the last one saying we gotta go find him. So, Swimming Beast in the Cavern. I think if we ride the head of the beast, we're gonna get into a secret location. How are you feeling? Hi, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Just about to ask you how you're doing over there. Pretty not bad. Cool. Pretty average. Pretty, pretty all right. All right. Pretty, pretty not too shabby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, I hijacked all the conversation in the last two episodes. That's so all good, dude. Had a lot of had a lot of speaking going on. So I think usually I'll, when I'm not feeling it or I'm, I'm getting tired, I'm like, yeah, you, you take over for like 90 percent of this episode. I'm just <laughs> hang back and enjoy. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. You know, it's just just one of those situations where I guess Mario 64 ended up becoming one of these serious playthroughs, and that's not the way to the beast. I'm gonna freaking remember this game, the game that I should know you, off the hand. Uh, do you know the back number of the beast is? It's 666, bro. The number of the beast. Sure is. There's a staircase around here. Yeah, there we go. Woo! So, okay, so you're, you're at the 30 star mark, but I thought the next thing was that was supposed to happen at 40. So what is it actually telling you to do at 30? We got to go find a Bowser's submarine in the Dire Dire Docks. Oh, okay. So yeah. not here at all. I thought there was an entrance way to the level in here. Really? Yeah. I did not know that existed. That's in here. well, it's what I just said. Like you gotta go, you gotta go um, find that that blue Loctus monster thing, and he'll give you both tree fitty, and then you find the secret entrance to Dire Dire Docks. I think, unless okay. that's the unless that's the the metal cap. Is that the only way you can get there? I th to yeah. the submarine? Yeah. There's like there's one special way, but I'm pretty sure that's how. So we're gonna go find out again. Okay. It's been a while, and by a while I mean like a month. <laughs> so I should remember, but I don't. I'm yeah. pretty damn sure that's how you do it, though. Yeah, I was, I was pretty happy oh, when, they, fuck. when they finally did announce this game, that it was only going to come out, like, a month later. I was like, ah, oh, thankfully. Yeah, we don't have to wait I don't have to wait any more longer than I need to. But to be fair, it was, like, the world's worst kept secret. Like, everybody knew this was coming oh, for months. 100%. So. You know, but it's here, and I'm happy about it. So, all right. So, we don't need that yet. Well, we need all the stars, but that's not the one we're getting at. How do you get that one? You gotta be invisible, Mario. And you go through the cage. All right. So I don't, the beast, I don't remember becoming invisible. I'm pretty sure you do, man. I'm pretty sure I don't. I'm pretty sure you do. <laughs> Here's the. Is that it? Metal cap? No. Um, That's from Metal Mario, bro. You're Metal Mario. I will be metal as fuck soon. So there's a star there, but that I'm talking about. You see the door right here? Yep. That's to Bowser's sub. So I don't know. I guess we can, can grab. Can you across? Well, no, you have to use um, Mr. Lapras over here. Whoa! He's like, hey, guys! Dude, I don't remember this at all. What? Dude, really? Sorry, th this particular level, I never really spent too much time in. Oh, shit. Watch. This oh. is like, what's his face? From Mario 3D World. Plessy. Plessy, yeah. Yeah, well, that's where Plessy originated from, man. Is he, like, the best? Plessy's pretty dope, actually. Fuck. Look at his stupid, look at his big dumb guy face. <gasps> Did it. Okay, I might as well get the star, but I have to come back here. But now I've got the map all planned out. Got the route. Is that 32? 31. That is 31. But nice. we will we will get another star soon. Very, very soon. All right. So basically, this is what happens. So I'm going to go through that door because it's starting to come back to me now. I go through the door instead of getting, getting the star. Mm -hmm. And when I do that, then there's another portal that dives you into the Didar docks. But the moment that you uh, jump on Bowser's submarine... It pushes back the barrier that was behind the star door, and there's an option to go to Bowser's castle, the second one, and the option to jump into Diodar Docks. Okay. That's how they do it. And I'll show you at the end of this episode. You'll see. I'm going to do it. So give me a little history lesson here, because the last Mario 64 I played um, in, in, in like a, a long-ass time, sorry, uh -huh. for a long time, was the uh, Mario 64 DS version. Right. So, was there additional stars in that game? Than yeah. This one? Yeah. There are I want to say maybe 150, I think. Okay. I could be, no, no, maybe even more than that. Maybe like 180. So, did they add like more stages then? They added, see, here's the thing. I'm not too, I'm not that familiar with 6040S because I just, I played the shit out of this growing up. Yeah. I would say that I, I think they're the same levels, but they would have more stars in the levels. And then, yeah, so they filled it out that way. But I think there was, like, more bonus stages, you know what I mean? 
Because I remember, like, remember that whole leak came out from R64 and, like, all that cut content? Yep. The big uh, Nintendo leak? Yeah. Remember how, like, how much actual stages were cut from this game? There were quite a bit, there yeah. quite a bit, dude. So I was, like, I was kind of, like, secretly hoping that when they announced this that they would actually, like, include those as, like, a, you know, like a special occasion kind of deal. Kind of like how they did with Star Fox 2. They kind of just said, okay, it was never finished. Now we're going to finish it and drop it on the Super Nintendo Classic. Well, the reason why we didn't get those levels was because there was supposed to be a sequel to Mario 64 and they actually started production on it too. Shigeru Miyamoto said that they, I think, I was watching this this uh, YouTube gaming history on Super Mario 64 and they said something like 35 to 40 worlds were created for Mario 64 and they wanted to use the other batch that they didn't use for this game for the sequel. So they also wanted to make Luigi playable in the second one as well. So Shigeru Miyamoto, I think it was like an EGM confirmed that like he was working on a sequel and it just never saw the light of day. Hmm. So that's what happened to those those levels that were cut. It was supposed to be in the sequel, man. Weird, okay. Yeah, I mean, I would have loved a sequel to this. I mean, like Sunshine's all right, but like we haven't really got a faithful success of Mario 64 since I'm, I mean like I'm assuming like, they plan on making it for the 64 then right yeah yeah Mario 64 2 was going to be for the 64 okay. but I think I think the the closest we've gotten to a true successor to 64 was Odyssey to be honest with you like Galaxy and Galaxy 2 had obviously the platforming premise but it wasn't like this you know what I mean and also I think I am 100% wrong on Bowser's sub what the fuck yeah, this is not like yeah. familiar at all. Sorry, like I brought that up earlier because like the last time I played this like like really heavily was when the Wii Virtual Console came out, which I guess was a launch. Fuck. So that was 2006 when I played this game last. Yeah. Well, I guess I guess it's the metal cap and it's not Bowser's submarine. Then how the hell did you get there? Maybe you have to go through Jolly Roger Bay? Huh. I'm going to look into that after this. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get the red coins, and then I think that'll be an episode. But then I got to look up again how to get to the submarine. Because I, I know it's I know it's from a level in a level. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then it, and then how I said it pans out is how it pans out. Like, it'll, it'll push back the barrier at the door, and then you jump into the level that way. But you have to find it first. So I think it, I guess it's just in a different level? I'll find out. Press that. Save it. Imagine they redid Mario 64 in like today's like capabilities, like 4K and shit. Yeah, that'd kind be, of crazy. That'd be. That'd be like remade from the ground up. It'd be pretty sick. It would play a lot like Odyssey, to be honest. But I wouldn't complain because you know I think they did a pretty damn good job. Where's number eight? Ooh. Right here, buddy. And then I walk around one more time and grab that star and get the fuck out of here. Wait, where are you? Oh, I found it. Found it. Got it. I definitely thought it was in there. Huh. Hmm. Very, like how many very... stars do you have in, this, in, the, in that world now? I have like... Oh, you know what we three? didn't do? We didn't get the uh, the Castle Secret Star. Oh, yeah! Oh, the two that are technically on That's the slide. That's right. That's right. Because okay. I was going to try. That's right. I guess we can do that, right? Are we close to it? Not really. But whatever. I just... I'm trying to think now. Let's go do that, and while you like, we'll, we'll think while you do that. Yeah, I'm like brainstorming while I'm just trying to run around. That's like usually how I play Mario 64. Is like, okay, what star am I gonna get next? There's a bajillion of them, and by a bajillion I mean 120. So I'm gonna go through here because I want to check something. What's the hardest star to get in this game for you? Anything in Hazy Maze Cave, the one we just did. Or sorry, not Hazy Maze Cave. Um, dry, uh, wet Dry World. Oh, I hate that place. Wet Dry World is the worst, but Hazy Maze Cave is like maybe second or third. It just depends. We didn't do... We did this one, right? Did we? I think so. Did you check the little Oscar? Well, it just tells you. Oh, you know what? Right? We probably did. I think we did. It's just mm. been so long. Yeah, well, man. You know oh, what? there's the other one. Go into Jolly Roger Bay. One sec, bro. No, bro. Yeah, bro. What's in there? There's a, this is one, I think this is the other slide. This oh, no, nope, that's the one up. I, I think it happened last time too. Hmm. Ha! Huh. Let's, go let's go get a star in there. Okay, because I don't think we even we touched it yet. We haven't been there yet. I, I guess maybe the Bowser's sunken ship's in here. 
Plunder in the sunken ship. Oh yeah, because now you get the metal. So I was like, okay, I'm not trying to like backpedal or whatever, but I think I was half right because I think you still needed to do what I just did because you have to use the metal to get down to Bowser's ship. You know what I mean? I just remember having to do the, the Loch Ness Monster shit. When you're, when you're metal, does that mean you can breathe underwater? No, you just sink, oh. right? Um, and it's only temporary? Yeah. But I feel like there's something... Is the wing cap temporary? Yeah, they're all temporary. Okay. I yeah. feel like that just lasted a lot less than, say, the wing cap did for you previously. Nah. Okay, well, there's the eel. Look at that face. He's like... Hey! Hmm. I'm gonna write pickle. Either way, we're gonna get stars, though, so that's a that's a bonus. It's just trying to figure out the process while we go through it. Yeah, we're fucking beating this game on this channel, people. We, yeah. uh... We're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> we're doing the thing, and that's all there is to it. We, we, we suffered. We beat Mario 1, technically. We beat Mario 3, and I don't want to ever have to redo that again, because I was... Oh, yeah, on. that's right. Yeah, Mario 3 was a fucking... That yeah, was a bloodbath, bro. Easy this is an easy start again. Okay, so it's that one, that one, that one. That yeah, you're right. Yeah, one, two, three, four. No, one, okay. two, three, go. three, four. There you go. You took the top, the pirate's treasure. I sure did. Give me that star, bitch. All right. Well, I was full of inaccuracies for this episode. My apologies, but I think we're gonna get somewhere, kind of, sorta. And I think that's another exciting episode of Super Mario 64: Treasure of the Ocean Cave. Woohoo! Feel free to like and subscribe, bitches. Yeah. I love everybody. I love everybody more than you. <laughs>